The table behind me was bought one and a half years ago or something like that, and I like it. It's aesthetically beautiful, but it's extremely impractical, and I've really wanted this micro cement slash plaster table for a while, and I've decided to make it myself. So let's see how it goes, and don't hate me for ruining the glass table, but it's gonna be good, I promise, I hope. The thing is, I just get annoyed because I always have to have these mats on, do you know what I mean? These ones all over the place and I never just have the glass table and then if you have something directly, directly on it, then it gets stains, it gets scratches, and it's just annoying. I'm a practical, practical gal. I need things to just function and be easygoing, so. I'm kind of over this, but let's see. Let me gather the things that I need. Okay, so we're starting off with these, this tape, you know, so that the plaster will actually um, connect to the table because I think because the table is of glass it will just slip right off or not really stay on there so let's see so I got two packages of this hopefully that will be enough because I'll have to do it on both sides the tabletop also is not connected to the legs so I think that is something positive I'm gonna start off with this thing I'm kind of nervous honestly I'm not gonna lie <laughs> because I hope it turns out to be good but we never know unless we try and yeah so what I've seen other people do on YouTube which is where I learn every single skill that I have is that they just put it across like this don't know if I should bend it in like that I think I should because otherwise the edges will be crusty so let's try that yeah and then we just keep going I don't think it has to be perfect at all I definitely didn't put the first one on really nicely it's okay if it's a bit bumpy honestly because it's not supposed to be completely perfect it's supposed to be like a textured Table. I saw this woman online doing this and then she ended up plastering the day after and the tape was already peeling so I wouldn't re recommend that. So we're gonna try to do everything on a day besides from the filing down um, which I'll need to probably wait a day or two to do. Hopefully I have enough plaster as well. I bought this plaster that's already done because I wouldn't know how to make a right consistency plaster. I'm a DIY girly but you know there's limitations and I know my limitations so so I'm gonna do this side today and maybe whenever it dries I'll do the other side so either tomorrow as soon as possible it's honestly already lifting quite a bit on the edges, so let's get this done ASAP. So we kind of have a problem where everything is lifting on the bottom. So let's try to save that before we do anything else. Why is it lifting everywhere though? Maybe it'll be better when I just start using the plaster on it because otherwise I'll just spend my whole life trying to save these edges from lifting. I guess it doesn't stick very well to glass because it takes no time at all for it to lift. I have this three kilos of 
plaster basically it says clean the surface um, water to add I thought I didn't need to add water what half a liter for one kilo let's just see what's in here oh I do need water that's so annoying okay this is so smart they have separate bags for each kilo so if I don't use everything up I could just store it for another time I thought it would just be this paste already but apparently not but at least now I have a bucket so I have this water bottle of sparkling water and this one is one liter so I'm guessing this is half a liter maybe a bit less so this is the proof that thing never goes as planned I thought I had this I don't know what you call it scarpel or whatever to use to you know make the plaster and everything but I don't I don't know where it is I can't find it so I need to go and get another one I'm gonna go to a bazaar and check it out it just depends because it's Sunday and I don't know when it's open or which one is open some of them have to be open so I'm gonna go I'm a bit frustrated already but I'm gonna go and get an acai and that will make me feel a lot better okay I'll see you later okay now I'm back also changed my t-shirt because I got sweaty on our little cast quest acai and spatula quest anyways let's mix this up and see what we can make of it I don't know if I should make one liter straight away or two liters and oh yeah I need to fix the edges you can probably see it from afar but all of the edges have you know opened up so that's not a good thing so yeah if you're doing this definitely do it the same hour same day <clears throat> let's just oh my god it's so heavy oh my god it's really heavy oh my god never mind never mind never mind I'll put it on the pillow and then I'll flip it back that's the <sighs> that's what I'm doing okay I can do this um, yeah can I though that was crazy it's a lot heavier than I anticipated um, I'm okay Okay, this is a lot better. Learn from me and just do the whole thing straight away. Don't just do one side. Okay, let's just do it because we ain't got no time to lose. Okay. Just. I've heard that it dries really quickly, so it's better to just get it on <laughs> kind of scared oh god it's fine okay this is very cool already i'm so impressed yay okay let's make another batch You have to work really fast. I do the edges first and then I do the top and then I'm gonna do the bottom. Let's do the edges before anything else happens. <laughs> I'm tired y'all. Can you tell I have no idea what I'm doing? 
I'll probably finish off the edges when I turn it around uh, but I'll definitely need to go and get some more of the plaster because it wasn't enough at all I would probably need three of these boxes I've already used up this one and I'm gonna open up another one just to finish off this side I think it's gonna be so cute though like let's just visualize a little bit you know do you know what I mean this DIY for everybody I don't know I don't know if I would recommend it for everybody at all. <laughs> completely sure what I feel about this um, yeah let's see welcome to day two of this project as you can see it's kind of rough um, from the videos that I've shown you which I like it reflects the process and I also like that it becomes even more of a statement piece in the space and also I love the color um, it's basically the same color as my curtains I'll show you guys later um, but I like how it kind of connects more to the rest of the room now than what it did before um, because I feel like before it was more of a darker corner here and then lighter pieces on the other side mm. anyways I need to sand this down I've seen other people use this machine, sanding machine, to really like polish it properly. One, I don't have that, and for the second, I'm not sure you should do that on a glass table. I don't know. Maybe if I had even more layers, but I don't think I would have the confidence to not think I would break the table doing that. So we're gonna just sand it down with normal sanding paper. Um, and see how it turn how it turns out. I'm not really overly confident that I'll be able to sand down most of the texture, but you know, it's the beauty in the process. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. I'm gonna start off with this sandpaper, this one to really polish it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's go. It is actually working, like it's flattening itself out, which is really good. It's just like, this is work. This is a lot of work. This is super cool. I'm down. Yeah, super cool. Very loud, but very cool. This is a very cool table though, honestly. I think it's because I'm, you know, working on it with my blood, sweat and tears. I think that's why I love the table so much. <laughs> because imagine if I didn't. Okay, I've used all the four sides. I think I'll need another one of these. Definitely miscalculated some things when it came to this. So the good thing is that I still need to do the bottom part, so actually it doesn't really matter too much how this ends up looking, you know what I mean? Because I still have another chance of victory. But it looks good. Rough, but good. Let's do the other one. I probably should use a mask for this, but oh well. I 
at least there's no harsh points anymore, you know? Is it gonna be perfectly polished? No. Do I want that? I don't know. It's just kind of gotten red from the paper. That's not good. Don't push the paper too hard on the material because it turns it a bit red. I think it's good enough, honestly. From this angle, when I can see it, like honestly, it looks great. Look at this, can you tell the difference? There is definitely a difference. <laughs> like, and I have my sweat to, you know, prove that. Obviously there's still a lot of texture, but at least now it's flattened out, you know? All this work. Yay! This is super cool. I don't care what you think, or actually if you like it, let me know. Should I start selling these tables? Do you want to buy one? I'm just kidding. I'm not doing this again. And I really like the black legs and contrast, you know? This is just gonna be a video of me <laughs> bragging about my table. But honestly, when you put so much work into it, I just gotta let you know. I think also because I was so scared that it wouldn't work out and that I would have just ruined the perfectly nice table. I know somebody is probably gonna, you know, prefer the glass table and I also like the glass table, but I also wanted something completely new and completely different. So that's just my vibe right now. This is my plan. My plan is to use this transparent cement not primer, but you know, the opposite. You know what I mean. <laughs> this way it's gonna be resistant to water, it's gonna be easier to clean, and also it won't be, you know, dusting everywhere. I'm gonna put it mainly in the middle and then I'm gonna keep the edges fresh because I'm gonna redo them anyways and I'll have to put this on. So I'm not really focusing too much on the edges, I'm focusing it on the base. So that it's gonna be, you know, nice and protected. Protector, cement protector. Anyways, something like that. This beautiful brush. Here we go. This, this. I think I'm just gonna pour it on because I kind of need a lot. I can imagine for it to protect. Pour it on and then put it where it needs to be. It reminds me of varnishing. Varnish, that's, that's the word I was looking for. It reminds me of varnishing paintings. Basically the same thing. I don't think I need instructions for this. Some, so there's some bubbles that are created. So. I'm making sure to go over them so that they won't stay. I'm gonna do this, let it dry, and then probably gonna do another layer just to make sure it's all nice and sealed. As I was saying, this is a translucent no, a transparent sealant, uh, but you can also get it with different colors. Um, yeah, but that wasn't really my vibe right now. But just so you know, it's my hair. We do not want to seal the hair in on the table forever. So yeah, make sure you have a close look at the table and see if there's any weird stuff stuck there, any dust bunnies or hairs or something. Oh, wow. 
apply one coat for further consolation and two coats for greater surface protection. Ready to use on light colors and dark colors, dilute with 10% water. After application, let it dry for two hours before applying the next coat. Okay, I'm just gonna let it dry for the night and after that, we'll be finished. Well, halfway finished because the bottom is still not done. Um, we don't need to think about the bottom right now. Yeah, see you later. Okay, I'm back with round two of this thing right here. As you can tell, it's nighttime, all the lights are on. Um, but yeah, let's do the second, second round of this varnish. My sanding skills, well, they're not the greatest, but it's not the worst, so <laughs> that's something. Um, but actually, it feels nice. I'm excited, let's see. gonna be nice and ready to use I'd rather wait longer than you know get little marks in it or scratch it or something well you wouldn't you wouldn't tell because there's a lot of texture on here but you know what I mean just trying to see if there's any dry surface of anywhere I've forgotten to put it, but I don't think so. Some darker spots, some lighter spots. I actually did think it would settle more into a more cohesive color, but I'm not mad. It kind of reminds me of the moon. Like, I don't need to go around for ages. I think I'm finished. Well, I'll just clean this brush and wait for tomorrow and we'll see how it looks it'll probably look exactly the same just dry but yeah I'll show you the final look tomorrow So this is the next day and this is the results. I'm very happy with it, honestly. I think it looks great. I really like that, you know, there's a bit more balance with how it's looking. It's not just all black. There's a bit of contrast there, a new texture. So yeah, I hope you like it too. If you don't, that's okay too. Maybe you'll want to make something similar or maybe you don't and that's also fine, um, but yeah. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you next time.